Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and this is something very exclusive. This is the Royal Moon 3D Virtual Mobile Theater. It was honorary on the 2017 CES Innovative, Innovative Awards. And it's a uh, some kind of uh, uh, X-Men kind of stuff thing, glasses you have to put in front of you and then you have also the ear cups and, and, and you get a mobile theater, some, yeah. So uh, these are dual full HD AMOLED displays on the left and the right side. Uh, you have the world's first foldable design, top quality active noise cancelling headphones, 800 inch giant curved screen and a 3D uh, experience as well. And every button is on the side of uh, the uh, headset. So let's check it out. <laughs> that just looks very nice. We have some other things in the package as well. A manual, a carrying pouch as well, but we won't use that. So what else do we get in the box? A uh, An HDMI converter for inside this small thing. This is the uh, power supply for the Royal, so everything passes through here. We also get a normal USB converter as well. But how does this work? Well, you can charge this up and uh, you just power this on via this button over here and then you put this one in here and then you have the Royal. It's probably going to be a bit difficult to show you guys what I can really see, but I will try, but I will just... Oh my word, what is this? Oh my man, that is sweet. I don't know, ah, I'm stuck. Ah, it's like, was that my phone? Ah, ah. One thing I'm already noticing is that there's a lot of uh, damp, or how do you call that, on the lenses because it's cold in my room and my head is warm, so condensation is uh, key on this thing right now and that's not really good. Didn't think that went through. So I'm going to try and show you how it looks when it's on my head. So I'm going to turn on this one. Yeah. And now, as you can see over there, that's one lens, and that's the other one, but I can't show you. Oh, okay, it's starting. Ooh, can you see that? So right now, I'm going to try and show you, so you can navigate via the ear cup, the right ear cup, but of course you only see the left I right now, but as you can see, go, can go to YouTube, Ethernet as well, settings. Oh, I, I pressed something. So imagine this, but of course with a way bigger screen. The uh, interface works very well, uh, it's very responsive, but um, imagine this with a way bigger screen and yeah, you have a very neat thing in front of you. I'm going to connect my HDMI to this thing as well. So, HDMI. Hello. Oh! Oh, it's there. The fit of this thing is not perfect. That's the first thing I have to say. Oh, okay, we can pull this out. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, yeah. Oh, that's better. A little bit at least. Oh! It's not the most comfortable fit and there is a lot of condensation on the lenses but it works and I'm going to try and show you that again. So you can of course also change the size of the screens you see in front of you so right now it's on the biggest size and yeah it's like you're in a cinema room in fact so that's actually pretty neat. The sound quality is great as well, it's uh, HD quality, the bass is very good and um, the um, the different aspects on the sound, so it's very detailed the sound and that's good as well. But it's very difficult to show you guys what I see, I'm trying to show it through one lens and as you can see it's, it's like a television inside a, 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 some glasses, so that's 
very neat actually. What I will say is that this thing doesn't fit perfectly in my opinion, but maybe it's just my head. But cool thing is that you can charge this one up, the, the Royal stuff thing, and then you can carry it around and you don't have to plug it in. So that's actually very nice. And you can just put things on this and then watch your videos in the airplane, for example. So I'm going to try and play a game. Oh, it's so weird. It's very annoying that there's a lot of condensation, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but there is a lot of condensation when I put it on my head because it's very cold in my room. And if you put it on, it gets warm because of my head and uh, that's annoying. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, I'm getting drunk. It's a very <laughs> weird experience if you're not used to something like that. It's, it's, ooh, uh, I'm, I'm a bit drunk right now because I'm not used to it. But uh, it's weird that you can look around and you still see everything uh, you see on the screen. It's like this, yeah, the screen moves with you. So, oh, that's very weird. But it's very cool. Um, the quality is good. The condensation got better over time because I kept wearing it and wearing it and, and then it got better. For movies it's amazing because the quality of the headphones is top notch. It's, it's really, it's really, really, really good. Um, I had some issues with the fit but as you can see you can adjust the fit here, here, here and here. So that's actually pretty nice. You can also take this one off if uh, it doesn't fit you well. And by the way this is the 3D button but I don't have any 3D video. So, uh, this is also, uh, these buttons are to adjust the uh, size of the eyes, so if your eyes are more uh, spread out of each other or closer to each other, you can change that as well. And yeah, you have everything you need. There is one thing I noticed is that over here, there's a small patch uh, where, where that still reaches the light, so so there's a little bit of light coming through here, but it's not, it's not really annoying, so, um, but overall, it's very expensive. It's, it's a very, very expensive. It's around seven or eight hundred dollars, I think. Um, but uh, that's very expensive, but you get a top-notch luxury product. Uh, it works well, as you can see, and it's perfect uh, for watching movies, I think, um, uh, on, on the train or maybe uh, on the airplane. It's a little bit weird. Uh, you don't see anything around you, so, so um, people will probably think you're like a cyborg or something with this thing on. But uh, it's it's it, it's very nice. Look at this. This this is coming up and then it, it disappears again. Ooh, that's that's very cool. But um, it's it's just very neat. It's a very cool experience, and I'm glad I ha I had the chance, the opportunity to try it. As you can see, it also goes this and that way as well. So ooh, very nice. I would say if you have the opportunity to try this out somewhere or from someone, please do, and you'll see for yourself how cool it actually is. Um, it's very difficult to, to film it. I can just do this, but uh, you don't get the full experience. You only see one lens and it's like a very small screen you see right now. But imagine two of these screens, 1080p AMOLED screens. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's very, 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 very nice. And uh, for the price, it, it, it has to be very nice, I know. But um, yeah, they did a great job with this. And um, I hope they keep improving it as well, so it, it gets a bit better with the fit and stuff. But overall, it's just a very great device. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the Royal Moon, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to help you. If you enjoyed this video, give a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.